construction which we're currently going through. So yeah, it's great.
The Pulaski Tunnel Trail has a rich history, which comes from the Great Fire of 1910. The area was ravaged by a wildfire that trapped forest ranger Edward Pulaski and his 45 men. To the immortality of the human spirit, this memorial is dedicated to all the brave souls who fight the wildfire, that the memory of their efforts will never be lost. pretty out here today it's really dark and overcast it kind of feels like we're going through like the jungle but it's beautiful and I'm really enjoying all the historical aspects of this trail so far As you near the top of the trail, you find informational signs with accounts of the fire from Edward Pulaski himself. I finally collected 45 men. My voice was almost gone from trying to call above the noise of the fire and wind. My hope was to reach an old mine tunnel, which I knew to not be far from us. We raced for it. On the way, one man was killed by a falling tree. They say that Pulaski rarely talked about the fires and that this is the only time he wrote about them. He only did so at the urging of his colleagues to help pay for medical bills.
We reached the mine just in time, for we were hardly in when the fire swept over our trail. One man tried to make a rush outside, which would have meant certain death. I drew my revolver and said the next man who tried to leave the tunnel I will shoot. I did not have to use my gun. I often wonder what happened to the bear that came down that fiery trail with us and insisted in getting in our way. I too finally sank down unconscious. I do not know how long I was in this condition, but it must have been hours. I remember hearing a man say, come outside boys, the boss is dead. I replied like hell he is. I raised myself up, it was 5 o'clock in the morning. Our disappointment was terrible when we found the stream filled with ashes and the water too warm to drink. As the air outside became clearer, we gained strength and finally were able to stagger our, to our feet and toward Wallace. When walking failed us, we crawled on hands and knees. How we got down, I hardly know. Later we were met by some women from Wallace. They had hot coffee and whiskey, and although we appreciated the kindness of those brave women, we could take nothing but cold water. My experience left me with poor eyes, weak lungs, and throat, but thank God, I am not now blind. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds. Well, we're headed back down. A few observations. The last half mile of the trail going up, or the first half mile of the trail going down, is very steep. Next observation, it's beautiful out here and the history is really cool. And a third observation, I really wish I hadn't left my hair tie in the truck. My eyes were closed. Fourth observation that James just pointed out, we are going to annihilate our tuna fish sandwiches when we get back to the truck. Feels like I can fly. You can if it was 90 degrees out, I swear I would wait out there. Look how beautiful this is. Closer to you now. I can't get close enough somehow. And I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high James ran down to the restroom I came back to the truck Found a hair tie Thank goodness And I'm going to start getting our sandwiches Ready Oh <sighs> I don't need anybody, I don't need anybody else No one will ever take me, no one will ever take me away from you I promise I will hold on to you Oh, there comes James Without you Without you Can take me high, high, high Feels like I can fly high, high, You can take me high, high, high Feels like I can fly high, high, high. You can take me high to be dead.